Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to click that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. I'd like to give a special thanks to South Day Toyota for giving me time with the 2022 Toyota 4Runner TRD Pro. As you guys can see, I'm loving this exterior color. This is called a Lime Rush. It looks really good with the black uh, leather interior, which is really nice. But let's talk about pricing here for the 4Runner TRD uh, Pro here. Starting price is $52,920 with the options and accessories, including destination. This one stickers for $61,167. If you're in the market for a Toyota, be sure to check out South Day Toyota and ask for Tony. He will get you into a new uh, pre-owned vehicle. But let's talk about the front fascia of the 4Runner. Let's talk about the exterior styling here for the 2022 Toyota 4Runner TRD Pro. This one is painted in this beautiful shade of Lime Rush. This will be the exterior color that I would personally go for if I were to purchase this vehicle. Looking at the headlights here, they're going to be an LED projector headlight with an automatic low and high beam, incandescent turn signal, which is here. And my model also comes with LED fault lights here at the lower part of the fascia. It looks very good that Toyota finally gives this thing LED headlights now. There is the Toyota name, which is spelled out here in this black painted bar front-facing camera looking down here the bumper is also painted black and underneath the vehicle if you guys can see there is the TRD name which is stamped on that metal skip plate there's also uh, front recovery hooks underneath there and Toyota says this has 9.6 inches of ground clearance so the ground clearance is very decent here in this off-road segment I know most owners might go at the market and you know put a two inch lift and what I have seen some forerunners just too tall for my personal preference this area here is not functional but most people might do it at the market to make it functional but stepping away from the forerunner here let me know in the comment section what you guys think about the exterior styling here but let's talk about the side profile this has a 109.8 inch wheelbase with an overall length of 191.3 so good proportions here in the off-road segment looking at these tires and wheels here as you guys see the tread is slightly aggressive some people might put a more aggressive tire on this vehicle these are a 265 70 all-terrain tire they're wrapped in this 17 inch rim design with the trd uh, center cap there i wish the brake calipers were painted red some people might do at the market personally i would do at the market uh red brake calipers it's also these mud flaps to keep them up from splatting along the vehicle if you guys were off-roading there's also these nice side steps here it might get hung up on some rocks if you guys were you know really considering taking this vehicle off-roading there is this camera underneath here because this one is the trd model and up top there's just that standard size so unfortunately toyota does not offer a panoramic option but there's this uh basket here so you guys can put more things on top of your vehicle just in case the cargo area is too full there's the trd pro badge here on the side panel but making our way to the rear of the vehicle, looking at these taillights here, they're going to be an LED combination. The brake light is going to be an LED. Turn signal is incandescent. The reverse lights, the reverse lights looks to be an, um, an LED as well. There's a TRD Pro badge here. And this can also tow 5,000 pounds. There's the tow hitch receiver there. There's the Ford Runner name, which is spelled very boldly here in this chrome finish, also with the Toyota logo. You can also let down the rear window via this control here. But since the vehicle is locked, it's not going to uh, do that right now. This also has the cat back exhaust off to the side with those mud flaps. And there's also a full spare tire underneath the vehicle. There's, there is incandescent lighting for the tag. There's also the camera there. Opening up the cargo area here, Toyota says this has 46.3 cubic feet of space. And my model is missing that slidable tray. I'm not sure if that's an option, but I do like that feature with uh, the payload is around 1500 pounds this also has the jbl sound system with this 400 watt uh, converter there also with this 12 volt plenty of space once you fold down the rear seats that expands it to 88.8 cubic feet of space so more space than the ford bronco which is new and also is more cargo space compared to the jeep wrangler which is this vehicle's main rivals in the segment and underneath here there looks to be no underfloor storage, but overall, like I mentioned, just plenty of packaging that Toyota throws here on the TRD Pro model. Sitting in the Toyota 4Runner TRD Pro, as you guys can see, if you guys like old school tech, Toyota's not going to disappoint, especially with the interior of the 4Runner here. But as you guys can see, reaching over to shut the door, the door sounds very solid. To start of the vehicle, you guys know, push button start is right there. Yes, we hear that four liter V6 come to life. Let's talk about the materials here on the door panel. Really nice soft touch material, nice red stitching. There's your switch control here. It is auto up 
and down for all four windows. I wasn't expecting that, but it's nice that Toyota does uh, give you that. There's your lock controls here, your mirror controls are here, dimmer switch, automatic high beam switch is there. Press this button right here. You guys can look at the front camera, top down 360 view there, which is really nice. And it will show you where you guys are basically pointing the front tires and whatnot. There is a 400 watt converter for the cargo area that you can turn on and off. Also your wiper fluid uh, switches there, it looks like. Your hood latch is there, more storage here, chrome accented door handle and more storage down here at the lower part of the door pocket. This is a manual tilt and telescoping wheel. It does offer a decent amount of range, especially if you guys are short like myself. There's the headlight and turn signal stock there. One wiper stock is right there. Nice thick rim, Toyota logo. Your volume controls, voice controls are there. There's your uh, mode uh, hold is there. Your option to answer and hang up the phone, foreclosure warning, lane keeping assist. There's your adaptive cruise control stock. You can customize this display, which is about three and three and a half inches or so, just by clicking this area here. It does show you your lane keep assist, blind spot monitoring, which this vehicle does have. Also your MPG and your steering angle and whatnot, your compass. So really nice uh, display there. It's not like the Ford Bronco, which has a half digital display, but like I mentioned, if you guys want the old school tech, Toyota is not gonna disappoint. Looking at the dashboard, here's gonna be this nice soft touch ejection with the plastic material. This is an eight inch display. There's some shortcut buttons to the side. There's a volume of two knob, dual climate control. There is heated seats in this vehicle, which I'm not gonna put on right now because it is like 100 degrees outside today. Putting the vehicle into reverse, it does reveal the backup camera, of course, with a top down 360 view. It's also a wide angle there. You guys put in the wide angle, it would eliminate the top down view there. Uh, there is a USB port there, a little bit of storage. My iPhone 13 Pro Max kind of fits in this area. There's a rapid charger there, which is a USB port, of course. I put the vehicle into drive. Very nice uh, shifter here, which is really nice. I like the nice stitching here. Over to the left, there's a sport mode for the five-speed automatic transmission. Put it back into park. There's some genuine carbon fiber-like trim here. This is the current key fob here for the vehicle. Toyota is rumored to be working on a new 4Runner, if I'm not mistaken. I've seen some spy photos. Maybe, maybe that's a new 4Runner. Who knows? There's a lock, unlock, a panic button, no remote start. You can also let down that rear glass via this control right here. As you guys can see. Just like the new Tundra in Sequoia, which is nice. You can also, and it goes up automatically by itself. There's a TRD stamped in the headrest here. These seats are very wide across for someone with a wider frame. I like this high gloss uh, trim piece there. The glove compartment, tons and tons of storage in there. Open this up, it does reveal more storage. Also with a 12 volt. I'm just loving this genuine carbon fiber. I'm pretty sure it's not real carbon fiber, but it is nice that Toyota does give you that around the center uh, console area here. This is for the two high, four low, neutral. So if you guys want to, you know, basically really take this vehicle off road, you can definitely do that. As you guys can see, also this does support Apple CarPlay in Android Auto. It's very responsive. This is the older Toyota uh, head unit here. There you do have a new Toyota Multi-Link. If I, I think that's what they call it, if I'm not mistaken. Going here to the embedded navigation. Still very snappy, still responsive. But if you guys go for the new Tundra and Sequoia, if, but the Sequoia is not available as of this filming. Um, you guys will see the new uh, interface from Toyota. So this is kind of uh, behind in the previous generation, for the previous generation. Above me is gonna be for all your off-road goodies there, which is your um, hill descent control. There's a low, medium, and high. It's also your drive mode selector here, which shows you a desert, uh, your traction control, and whatnot, hill descent control. All that stuff that you guys will want is right here at the top. There's an SOS button. Also, there's a standard size sunroof. Unfortunately, Toyota does not offer a panoramic option, but that's fine. Is there some three car garage remote here? Uh, there is LED lights throughout the cabin, which is a really nice uh, feature. There's your A-Track. You can also lock through diff traction control. So like I mentioned, once again, if you guys want that old school feeling, Toyota is not gonna disappoint, especially with this interior, but let's hop into the back. Opening the door of the 4Runner here, like I mentioned, this is a off-road capable vehicle, so it is capable of putting your family in the back seat. Also, there's stuff in the cargo area. Unfortunately, there's no grab handle here to get into the vehicle, but Toyota does give you these nice uh, running boards here. But getting back here, I'm gonna grab the door because I don't wanna fall down because the vehicle does offer 9.6 inches of ground clearance, which is not really high, but for a child, it's gonna be basically like Basically, it's going to be like climbing a ladder. But as you guys can see, I do have a decent amount of foot space underneath the driver's seat. Toyota says this has 
34.6 inches of legroom here in the back seat. So it does have a good amount of legroom space. There is some charging ports down here, rear air vents, two mat pockets for storage. Let's talk about the door panel materials. There's the nice padded area here, nice leather, chrome accent to door handle. There's some gloss black trim here. There's your window controls, a little bit of storage, also more storage and cup holder space down there at the little part of the pocket. Reaching over here to pull down the armrests. It does reveal two cup holders, a nice area here to rest your elbows. The seats are very supportive and comfortable. And above me is gonna be LED lights, which is a nice touch with this standard size sunroof. So if you guys want more light and air into the cabin, be sure to ask the passenger or the driver to open that. But overall, the back seat of the 4Runner is very spacious if you're trying to put your family back here. Let's talk about the powertrain specs here for the Toyota 4Runner. This has their bulletproof 4 liter V6. This powertrain makes 270 horsepower. 278 pound feet of torque is paired with a five speed automatic transmission if you guys are keeping numbers that is down compared to the jeep and also the ford bronco but this is going to be the most bulletproof powertrain that's in this segment and this also has a payload of 1500 pounds and toyota says this can tow 5,000 pounds properly equipped with a turning radius of 18.7 like i mentioned this has a ground clearance of 9.6 inches so very capable off-roading because this is why you guys go for the trd pro model let's talk about fuel economy really quick making our way to the fuel door this is ready to get 16 in the city 19 on the highway and 17 combined so let's start this review off here talking about the driving aspects of the forerunner if you guys are looking for the most bulletproof performance powertrain in the segment i'm telling you guys you're going to the right place toyota is known for having good reliability especially with their vehicles and they're going to continue that trend for years and years to come into the future but let's talk about this powertrain particularly this is a four liter v6 this powertrain makes 270 horsepower 278 pound feet of torque and of course you guys know it's paired with the most ancient transmission in the segment a five speed but like i mentioned once again if you guys are looking for reliability this is the powertrain to go for but if i want to get on the accelerator very slow <laughs> but she will get up and go once once she uh downshifts and whatnot but this is just a, the most reliable off-road truck that you can probably buy in this segment as of today i'm telling you guys you can't go wrong the ride quality in this vehicle is very look at the look at the steering here guys very playful uh, because this one um is the trd pro model i'm pretty sure you guys go for a street oriented uh, version of this it will drive a little bit more like a regular car this one just based off a truck's chassis if i'm not mistaken and this has 9.6 inches of ground clearance. So really good ground clearance, but I have seen some other forerunners on the road. They sit even higher than what Toyota says on their spec sheet, which this one, like I mentioned once again, is 9.6 inches of ground clearance. The seats in here are there for a person for a wider frame, but they're very comfortable seats. They're heated, not cooled, just like every other vehicle in the segment. I think no vehicle in the segment offers ventilated seats. Above me there's a standard size sunroof. There's some panoramic sunroof option. And I love that basket on top of the vehicle. Just in case your cargo area gets too full, you can throw some things up there and just tie it down. Visibility out of this vehicle is really good. You also have um good visibility as well around this vehicle. It's really good. Very good side mirrors. This also has Toyota's driver's assistant which is adaptive cruise control, forward collision warning, forward collision warning lane keeping assist, emergency braking all the nice tech that you guys want Toyota still offers it here on the front runner this is an eight inch display does support Apple CarPlay and Android Auto which is good but some other competitors have more massive screens but like I mentioned from the inside scene if you guys still want that old school feeling old school feeling Toyota is not gonna disappoint but it's just take some time to get up there and the, and the cab back exhaust kind of drones a little bit but I like the way that it sounds believe it or not sounds pretty good let's talk about fuel economy this is ready to get 16 19 and 17 i think the best in the segment is the wrangler 4xe that gets 25 miles of all electric range so hopefully Toyota, if you're watching this video i know you guys have been looking at the other competitors in the segment and i know that um that you guys have been taking notes so hopefully you guys come out with a more efficient forerunner don't get me wrong the gas mileage is just like everything everything else in the segment it's not bad it's not bad gas mileage but it's really good that's a nice grand wagon here that's pretty nice oh but back to the uh forerunner video i just literally got distracted by that wagon here 
Um, but this vehicle, it drives good. Even with the off-road tires right on the 17 inch rim design, they're 265. Um, most people might offer a, a more aggressive tread. The tread is pretty good. Unfortunately, guys, I'm so, so, so sorry that I can't take this vehicle off-roading. Here in South Florida, we don't have any off-road um, courses or anything to do off-road. Uh, maybe if you guys are familiar with the area. I mean, I'm familiar with the area, but if you guys know any mudding spots I can probably go to for future videos, just let me know in the comment section uh, down below. But if you guys are looking for a reliability, um, a bulletproof powertrain, like literally bulletproof, Toyota worked out all the kinks over the previous generations. I just feel like you just can't go wrong with the Foreigner, especially with this beautiful Lime Rush exterior color. It looks good with the um, black interior. I wish Toyota would offer some of that Lime Rush with the stitching, but the red stitching is still nice. The materials are very decent in this vehicle as well. Very uh, premium like feel, in my opinion. But you guys can hear the cat back is all sounds really good. But like I mentioned, once again, if you guys are looking for the most reliable, bulletproof uh, vehicle in the segment, the 4Runner should be the number one pick for you guys. After spending time with the 2022 Toyota 4Runner TRD Pro, I am loving this exterior color, which is a lime rush. Looks really good with the black interior, but hope you guys have enjoyed this review here. Unfortunately, I'm so sorry I could not take this vehicle off-roading to show you guys the off-roading chops that this vehicle is capable of, but be sure to follow me on Instagram at Drive One Reviews. Hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications, and I'll see you all in the next video.